guide us safely, someone to see us through this troubled world we live in. Who do we turn to? My God. Again, the affirmation of the Spirit of God is here in Verified. Amen. I did not speak to Sister Dennis as to what God had laid on my heart this morning. But what is laid on my heart to share this morning is Jesus is the answer. Amen. And what more appropriate uh, rendition, amen, that we present Jesus Christ to you. Amen. amen. At this time, it's time for the word. Amen. Grab your Bibles, grab your pencils, grab your pens. Amen. Grab your ribosomes and your RNA and your brain. Amen. And get ready. Amen. To hear what the Lord, I believe, is saying to us in this hour and on this occasion. Amen. Uh, while our world is uh, making sense of this pandemic, amen, we are getting ready for God's glorious appearing when he shall put in his appearance, amen, and the trumpet of God is to sound. Uh, we have made every effort to ready ourselves and thereby, and therefore we encourage all men everywhere to repent and to turn while you still have time and while you still have chance because there are many that are still alive and their chance is gone their window is passed amen they will leave this earth and they will go to a Christless eternity not as a function of the inadequacy of God but rather a function of their unwillingness to believe in Jesus Christ who is the very God manifested in the flesh and so today we uh, give pause and we make certain to, amen, invite you to follow the Lord Jesus Christ who is uh, the all in all. And so uh, we are talking about the Jesus who is the same yesterday, uh, he is the same today, and he is the same forever. From eternity past, amen, to time present, to time not yet and to eternity ahead, he is the same. He remains the same. There is no change in him. There is no difference in his pulpitude. Praise God. I would that you turn your Bibles with me to the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 9. Amen. And we'll be reading out of verses 23. Amen. And 24. Praise God. Giving the Lord glory this morning for his word. And while you turn your leaves or scroll through your Bible, amen, we are just going to bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, Lord God, speak to us this morning. Heal the heart of those that are broken. Lift up the minds of those that are downtrodden. Lift up the bodies of those that are sick and ailing right now. Hallelujah. Those that have growths in their beings and uh, malformations in their bodies. Heavenly Father, show yourself mighty one more time through the availing of your stripes by which we are healed. Hallelujah. That their lives will be transformed. Those that feel like giving up, like uh, life is not worth living. Uh, hallelujah. Let their hearts be uh, receptive to your voice to your presence to your blood to your entreatment for them to serve you now hallelujah that those that are in chains on the darkness of the bondage of sin and oppression we pray that thou would just release them now those that have strayed from the fold and they are in between as to what they should do in the time which is now i pray oh god that you will lift them up i pray that you'll strengthen them and cause them to come to know you in a rich and in a full way those that are in the ready room, Lord God, waiting for the departure of their spirit uh, out of their body. I pray, oh God, that thou wouldst make them ready to see your face uh, and let them behold your glory even, uh, hallelujah, as they transition. Uh, those of us, Lord God, and others who must remain uh, to fight and to be brave and to be a witness of you. Uh, I pray for boldness. I pray, uh, hallelujah, for the audacity, hallelujah, for us to believe you for the impossible and dear to be like Daniel and dear to be like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, Stephen hallelujah, Paul and John hallelujah, I pray for that strength Lord that we will have that courage, those Lord that are uncertain, those whose hearts are not fully enveloped in the consciousness of your soon return, I pray oh Lord you'll remove the scales hallelujah and the numbing effect of the things of life and the things hallelujah of this world that have 
beleaguered their souls and have caused them, Lord God, to enter numbness. I pray you revive their hearts. Lord, I pray the fire of your spirit will now descend upon their souls. Every chaff and every spiritual numbness will be consumed away. Remove, hallelujah, every taste for sin and every appetite for ungodliness now. And let their appetites be afraid for the holy, for the righteous, for the glorious. As we look for your appearing, our mother and father in the gospel, Bishop I.W. Evans and Mother Evans, we pray that thou would strengthen them with might by your spirit in the inner man. Hallelujah. As their physical frame may now diminish. Hallelujah. Let their spirit be emboldened. Hallelujah. Living at the highest level of its development even now within the faculties of their mind. Let them recall with great joy the wonders that thou would have worked through them as they sit upon their beds, as they muse upon the times gone by and as they anticipate the glory that shall be revealed in them. Oh God, let not their heart be troubled, their mind be disturbed, their spirit be unsettled by anything and anyone now as they rejoice to see your perfect day. Let thy kingdom come and thy will be done in our country, in our islands, in the continents of the world, in the very homes that we are speaking in now. Saturate the atmosphere with the presence of your glory. Remove every darkness. Hallelujah. Obliterate every debacle and deluge now. Every sickness, disease, calamity, a demonic imprecation. Let your light permeate every living room, every bedroom, every dining hall area. Let the hearers of the word today be activated to come after you with all of their hearts. Jehovah God who is Emmanuel whose name is Jesus abide in the homes and saturate the lives and souls of your people. Hallelujah. We bless you today God and thank you as you have girded us and have blessed us with heavenly blessings as we are seated in heavenly places in Jesus Christ our Lord. Let thy will be done as we look to you and magnify your name and let everybody say amen in Jesus name. Come on and say amen where you are. If it is you alone, say in amen. Say it anyway. Hallelujah. And so this morning in the book of Isaiah chapter number 9, amen, we are looking at the word of the Lord to Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 23. The Bible says, thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth for in these things I delight saith the Lord. Amen. Holy is the word of the Lord and may we through adherence to them uh, be, be able to come into the holiness that God has designed for us. Isaiah the prophet, one of the major prophets as he's called, amen, received a direct word from the mouth of God and in that word God was admonishing the earth that the wise man shouldn't mm. glory in his wisdom and the mighty man not in his might and the rich man not in his riches. Uh, God was admonishing men through Jeremiah that the glory that you should have, the celebration that you should feel, the sense of adulation that you should experience should be in the knowledge of the fact and the person of God. Amen. Because the wisdom of man is going to fail. Amen. The might of a man is going to diminish. Hallelujah. And the wealth of a man ceases. Amen. To bring him eternal life. So the glory and the, the praiseworthiness that must be experienced should be experienced through the 
knowledge of God. Oh, that I might know him and the power of his resurrection. That my, I might know the fellowship of his suffering. That I might know conformation. Amen. To the sufferings and to the experience of Jesus. You see, you can know a lot of things, but there is nothing like knowing God. For it doesn't matter, amen, what other knowledge you have. The greatest knowledge is to know God, is to know him by name, and is to know him by nature. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so today, amen, I would that we come to this sense that we need to know God. And we need to understand who God is. And we need to celebrate who God is in our lives. So God, who is above our capacities to understand, God that sits outside of our paradigm and outside of our limitations, amen, cannot be known unless he reveals himself to us. You see, no matter what knowledge we can attain to, we are born blank. In Latin, we are born tabula rasa, like a blank state that has nothing written on it. It is so exemplified in the book of Genesis that even when God created Adam and gave Adam, amen, the ability and capacity to name every living thing that was upon the face of the earth, there was a knowledge that Adam lacked. Adam lacked the knowledge of good and evil. It means then that it was God's prerogative and the reserved right of God to reveal to Adam as he would have chosen to reveal to Adam. For the secret things of God are hid with the righteous. They are revealed to them that are upright in heart. So you you see, we think we know, but then there is another level of knowing that we all must come to. So over the process of time, God revealed himself to man. He revealed himself to Adam, amen, as the voice walking in the garden. Before that, Adam, amen, had fellowship with God, whom he perceived through his pure spirit, and he was able to behold the glory of God and will not be destroyed because he was perfect. There was no sin at all in Adam. And one of the profound revelations of God, amen, was experienced when Moses was sent to deliver the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So when God appeared to Moses and instructed him to go tell Pharaoh, let my people go, Moses understanding the psychology of human beings Ask God, who should I say, amen, sent me? And so God told Moshe, tell them that the I am, that I am has sent you. In other words, the I am that I am is the God who will become to you whatever you need him to become. You see, because God is infinite, the powers of God are not limited to our present territory terrestrial experience. The powers of God lies outside the parameters of our limitations. Uh, the power of God is not limited to our hunger, is not limited to our nakedness, is not limited to our sickness. You see the might of God and the isness of God is not limited to our human needs. God is outside of that. But because we don't know God, God, God chose to reveal himself to us progressively. So he introduced himself initially to the Israelites as the I am that I am. And consequent to that, he revealed himself, oh Lord God Almighty, to Israel. Starting in the book of the Genesis, he revealed himself as the El, as the God creator uh, 
He revealed himself as the Elohim, the plural designation of El, as the omnipotent moral governor of the universe. He went on further as time progressed and revealed himself as God most high, the El Elyon, the eternal mighty God. He went on and revealed himself as the El Shaddai, as the almighty God, as the all sufficient one, as the one that is able to abundantly bless and nourish. He further revealed himself as the Adonai, as the master as the leader of the universe who is he that is God the Lord the sovereign one he calls himself the I am that I am you see in order for us to know God we have got to understand how he identifies himself to us I feel like glorifying him right there so after he told Moses that he is the I am that I am God went on over the process of the experiences of Israel to reveal himself as the Jehovahistic God as the one that becometh what he wills and so he revealed himself as the Jehovah Elohim the Lord God the Jehovah Adonai the Lord our God he revealed himself as the Jehovah Rophe the Lord who heals all our diseases he restores our body he cures our ailment he reveals himself in the time of adversity as the Jehovah Nissi the Lord who became our banner the Lord who became the insignia of our defense do you know Jesus he went on to reveal himself as the Jehovah Makadish the Lord who makes you holy you see no matter how we try to be holy if God don't give you his holiness you are as a person dressed in filthy rags Jesus is hallelujah the same yesterday today and forever but to Israel I am that I am revealed himself as the Jehovah Shalom the Lord who is my peace the Lord who fills my deepest need the Yehovah Shalom for he is the prince of peace he is the comforter and friend somebody bless the Lord and in the time of war in the time of battle he revealed himself as the Lord Sabaoth the Lord of hosts the Lord of hosts who is with us Psalm 46 the God of Jacob who is our refuge do you know him in the Old Testament he revealed himself at times as the Lord Jehovah Gibar the Lord of war for he is the mighty God hallelujah when the enemy came upon Israel to eat up of their flesh Yehovah became Sabaoth Shakondabahaya he's a lord of hosts in the heavens he's a lord of hosts in the earth he's a lord of hosts below the earth oh, he will open up the earth and swallow his enemies Yehovah Kashimahaya Sabaoth don't let the enemy scare you don't let the devil petrify you for Yehovah Mama Shandaya is the Yehovah Sabaoth my God when the enemy comes in like a flood he will dial up one of his hosts when the enemy comes with spear and with arrows he will be the Yehovah Kibar take up your sword fight against them that fight against me take hold of shield and buttler 
dip your sword in the blood of your enemies oh woe unto the earth who it is that cometh out of Teman I don't hear the folks the Lord is mighty in battle Lord I feel like praising him I need to calm down a little bit but if there be no enemy there be no fight if there be no fight there be no victory don't worry about the devil getting all mad with you don't worry about the enemy speaking all manner of evil when God gets up as the Yehovah Shabbat Makashaya where shall they run where shall they hide somebody praise the Lord Hallelujah. I'm trying to calm down a little bit. Hallelujah. And so God continued to reveal himself. Oh. Hallelujah. There comes a time in your life when you need him not to fight a battle, but you need him to comfort your soul pour water upon your wounds and so he revealed himself as the Yehovah Rohi the Lord my shepherd for the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restores my soul when the enemy expiates your strength when he draws out your energy the Lord is your Yehovah Rohi he is your shepherd he will straighten up your broken bones he will take one of your ear and half of our ears and make you brand new somebody said the Lord is my Yehovah Rofi somebody bless him one more time and he went on to reveal himself as a Jehovah Tiskenu the Lord my righteousness he went on to reveal himself in times when you feel lonely and you feel like giving up Mama Shire ah, the songwriter says I almost let go I felt like it just couldn't take life anymore. My problems had me bound. Depression weighed me down. But God held me close. So I wouldn't let go. God's mercy kept me. So I wouldn't let go. When Israel was surrounded by calamity, when their enemies wanted to terrify them, the Lord revealed himself as the Yehovah Shammah, the Lord who is present. He is my security. No matter when the enemy come upon you to eat up of your flesh and to drink up of your blood, the Lord is with you. He is your Yehovah Shammah. I say God is Shammah, a very present help in the time of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, after these composite designations, after these situational manifestations, there came a time when God wanted to move beyond a particular situation and reveal himself as the God for all seasons and the God of all situations. And so the Bible says, therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin 
shall bear a son and she will call his name Emmanuel Emmanuel is my interpretation God with us you see there is a time when God is around you and when God is for you but there is a time when you need him to draw near to you in a personal way for God desires not just to have remote fellowship but to have intimate fellowship so there was a virgin and her name was Mary now all this took place to fulfill what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet behold a virgin shall be with child and shall be her son and they shall call his name Emmanuel that is Matthew 1 22 and 23 you see God had to reveal himself so you understand now that God who stayed in the mystery of his I amness and revealed himself progressively through situational manifestation found it necessary to come down and abide with you for in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God the same was within the beginning with God and the word became flesh and dwelt among us Emmanuel God with us Allah for God was manifested in the flesh hallelujah justified in the spirit seen of angels believed on in the world received up in glory and God hallelujah who at sundry times and in diverse manners spoken in times past unto us by the prophets have in these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he had made here of all things I don't hear the church for Jesus is the express image of God hallelujah for in Jesus dwell at all the fullness of the Godhead bodily you see Mary had a child and she called his name Jesus because Emmanuel was what he is but Jesus is who he is for he shall save his people from their sins so he's no longer just Emmanuel he is Jesus somebody said Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord somebody I feel like magnifying. So there came a time now, hallelujah, where Jesus came into the earth. So Jesus is the physical manifestation of God in the earth. He is the very God himself. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I hear you. God desires to dwell among men. God desires you to touch him. God desire you to handle him. Yes. God desire you to hear from him. God desire you to have fellowship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But because of the sin of man, if God comes near us, we shall be destroyed. So he needs to become our tikkanu. He needs to become our righteousness. Yes. So what God did is that he came down in flesh. He lived a life of holiness showing us that if he did it you can too yes. and he will give you the power Amen. after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you God will make you walk right God will make you live right God will carry you through so Jesus open up the way hallelujah that we who are in sin born under sin might by the power of his blood through Thank faith in his Jesus. name be made free from the curse of sin from the curse of sin which is death somebody bless the Lord Thank I you, heard Jesus. Jesus say I am come to seek and to save that which was lost hallelujah and so from the Old Testament 
where we have the I am uh, and names of God. Uh, we come to the New Testament uh, where we uh, have a different experience uh, with Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, so uh, he makes certain declarations. Uh, he says unto them, uh, I am uh, the bread of life. Uh, so you see the uh, Asha uh, uh, of the earlier book uh, and of the Old Testament uh, is the Eye uh, Asha uh, uh, in the New Testament. Uh, he is the Jesus. Uh, he stands up and declare, uh, I am the bread of life. Uh, after he had fed uh, thousands of people uh, with a cup of fish uh, and some bread, uh, he was trying to tell them uh, that you have bread knee uh, in the physical, uh, but you have need uh, of a spiritual bread. Uh, you have got need uh, of an eternal sustenance. Uh, he says, I am the bread uh, of life. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he said, unless you drink my blood uh, and eat my flesh, uh, for my flesh, uh, which is my body, uh, was broken for you. Uh, it is the body of Jesus. Uh, it's the bread of life. Uh, and all you got to do uh, is to believe on him right now. Uh, he says, I am the bread of life. Uh, he says, I am the bread. Uh, somebody, you need bread. You need to eat of the eternal bread, which is Jesus himself. Right now, as you believe, you shall eat. Preacher, I feel weak. Eat of the bread. Preacher, I feel destitute. Eat of the bread. Preacher, my life is strained from me. Well, Jesus said, I am uh, the life. Uh, he says, I am the way, uh, the truth, and the life. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, because life in the flesh uh, is only but for a while. Uh, and you can be alive in the flesh uh, and dead in the spirit. Uh, but Jesus made a way uh, that you might be alive uh, in the flesh uh, and alive uh, in the spirit. Uh, he that believeth on me, uh, as though he were dead, uh, I yet shall he live. Somebody say, yes Lord. yes, Lord. I am dead in trespasses and sins. I am far away from his presence. You are a hooker. You are a woman of the night. You are a man of the night. Come to Jesus. He will give you life. He will give you hope. He will give you eternal bread. He will give you life. I want to tell you about him. He said, I am the door. If any man enter, they got to come through me. Anybody else that come in, they are thieves and they are robbers. But I am the way. I am the door. If you're going to go to heaven, you got to go through Jesus. It doesn't matter how much money you have. Your money can't save you. It doesn't matter how much power you have. Power don't belong to you. You're borrowing it. Hallelujah. Jesus says, I am the door. You got to come through Jesus. Somebody say, yeah. I was a wanderer. Out in the wilderness. I was far away. I say, I was far from the sheepfold. About Jesus, who is a good shepherd, he sought me tenderly and he carried me through the door of his flesh. He carried me through the door of his covenant. I present Jesus to you. Somebody say, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You, he went on to declare that I am uh, the resurrection uh, and the life. Uh, and then he went on uh, to raise Lazarus from the dead. Uh, you see, death uh, hath no terror uh, for the blood bought ones. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, for those that are in Christ uh, are dead to this world. Uh, but you are alive uh, unto God. Uh, so even the worms uh, might destroy the body. Uh, even the worms uh, will destroy your flesh Jesus said I am the resurrection and the life if you die in the flesh and you die a believer when Jesus comes he shall call you up 
by the sound of the trumpet uh, somebody say uh, uh, yes that cannot scare me that uh, cannot intimidate me that no. uh, can't cause me to fear uh, no. somebody bless the lord you, i Jesus. am the resurrection Then we go to the other part uh, where Jesus says, I am uh, the truth. Uh, anything that is not eternally true uh, is only subjectively uh, and temporarily true. Uh, but Jesus uh, is the word uh, which is truth. Uh, uh, Jesus uh, is the word uh, which is truth, uh, which became flesh uh, and which bled, uh, that you might be sanctified, uh, that you might be justified that you might be glorified that you might be free from sin somebody say yes you see you are clean through the word sanctify us by thy truth for thy word is truth sanctify us by Jesus for Jesus is truth somebody praise the Lord he says I am the way he says I am the way he never said, I am a way. He says, I am the way. There is a lie in the world that there are many ways to God. There is no Bible for it. It says, he that cometh unto God has got to come through Jesus. He says, I am the way. The Bible says in Acts 4, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved somebody praise the Lord Jesus says I am the way I am the truth I am the life he says I am the vine and you are the branches he that abideth in me and I in him the same bringeth forth much fruit for without him you can do nothing you have to have Jesus living on the inside and you gotta have him uh, yes. working on the outside. Yes. You gotta feel him moving uh, yes. within your soul. Yes. Can you feel him? Hallelujah. 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 He will give you another tongue. He will give you another language. Christ in you. And the hope of glory. If you're connected to the vine, then the life that is in the vine becomes accessible to you and so uh, all that are connected to Jesus uh, are connected to life uh, oh preacher uh, I am a sinner uh, I am under bondage uh, I am a drug addict uh, I am a womanizer uh, I am a manorizer uh, I need help uh, I present Jesus to you uh, somebody say uh, yes. I give you Jesus uh, he is the Jesus. I am uh, and that I am and so ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters God has a plan God has a plan for humanity and it is his desire that everyone be saved but not everyone is going to choose to be saved so you got to make your mind up I want to be saved I need to be delivered. I delivered from what? I delivered from death. I delivered from torment. I delivered from hell. I delivered from the lake of fire. I delivered from no fellowship with God. Somebody said, Deliver me. Somebody said, Deliver me. Somebody said, Set me free. He that believeth, hallelujah, hath life. He that believeth not, hath not life. Hallelujah. Will you believe that Jesus is God manifested in the flesh? Will you believe? And that he came uh, to seek you, uh, to save you, uh, to deliver you. Uh, will you believe uh, that he's coming back again? Uh, he went away uh, and not to stay uh, and he's coming back again. Uh, will you believe uh, that if you trust him, uh, he will carry you through? Uh, will you believe uh, that like he healed a leper, uh, he will heal you? Uh, will you believe 
like how he healed the blind he will heal you will you believe like how he healed the epileptic he healed the blood issue he healed the familiar spirit he healed the unclean spirit will you believe he will heal you well 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 can you believe for he that cometh to God must, must believe you must believe must. you must accept must. as true that God is that God exists yes. that God is that yes. God has will that God has desire that God has a plan do you believe that he loves you with an everlasting love oh sinner oh wretched man oh vile woman come to Jesus I hear him say I love you oh yeah I love you baby I love you more than you know as filthy as you are as messed up as you are as disfigured as you are come unto me all in that labor he says come unto me all in that I don't trodden he says come unto me prostitute a destitute oppress suppress possess yabakashaya he says come now he says as you are you don't need to pretty up you don't need to pretty up I present Jesus hallelujah he opened his mouth he commands and it stands fast he says woman thou art healed at Talitha Kumai he says man thy son is healed he says Mary step out of the way show me where he is Lazarus come forth mama Lazarus came can you believe then you'll receive can you accept then you won't be rejected I believe makes no difference makes no difference what your problem is it makes no difference what your condition looks like Jesus can fix it I said Jesus will fix it I said Jesus is ready to handle it I don't hear the folks I don't care how much up you are it don't matter how I decrepit you are it don't matter how low you stoop he will lift you up he will set you on high he will platform you for glory will you come Jesus revealed himself. Revealed himself to his earthbound people, Israel. Shalom. For the contentious situations. Jehovah Shama. For the lonely journeys. Seribo Kutole. Jehovah Rohi. For the times of your wandering, the shepherd, Jehovah Rapha, for the moments of sickness, Zoveshki Ohosovrata. But we are no longer under the old covenant. We are now under the new covenant, where the Eye Asha Eye has become the Eye Asha Jesus. Bound by addictions wrapped up in bondages only God can understand well Jesus says I am the light that will shine into your darkness you are on that street corner you are addicted to drugs your physiology is degraded your nerves are utterly destroyed 
there is a God who has the ability, unlike any other, to take your brokenness and make it his blessing. We have a Jesus who specializes in damaged goods. So no variatesh baho. He's interested not in the pious, not in the astute. He's not interested in those that need no physician. He wants your leprosy. He wants your blindness. He wants your familiar spirit to remove it from you. He wants that unclean demon out of your life. Jesus says, I am the way, not a way. I am the way. Mass John down the real bottom cannot help you. The red flag can't help you. The purple flag can't help you. The white flag can't help you. You need the Yehovah Nissai who has become the Jesus, your Passover lamb. The Jesus, your blood shedder. The Nissai in your event must be the banner of his love dipped in his blood. Jesus wants your depression. He wants your bipolar disorder. He wants your paranoid schizophrenia. He wants your delusion. He wants your multiple personality disorder. He wants it. He says, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. This message is for you. You're on the backside of your rebellion. You are out in the field of your disgruntlement. Keshataya. You have been broken. You have been distorted, destroyed by the rudiments of this world. Jesus says, I am come that you might have life. I am the word from the beginning who became the word in the flesh that bled and gave his life for you. They beat you every day. They have destroyed your wholesomeness as a person. We present Jesus to you. I'm telling you, he will make your darkness light. He will lift your heaviest burden off your back completely. You are sinful until you stink. You are repugnant and pungent. Kata Messiah. Nobody wants to associate with you. But Jesus says, softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling me, calling for you and for me.
repent of your sins. Holy repent and be baptized sinner. in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins. Hallelujah. Jesus said, my distortions I'm going to take my circumstances situations hallelujah I'm going to give him my brokenness and allow him to make of me anew I wish I wish that you all would make that calling and election sure he is your banner your peace your satisfaction your all in all Jesus became all that you could ever need and all that you will ever need he is and so much more Take your problems, take your conditions, take your fears, take your dread, take your inadequacies, take your failures, take everything to Jesus. He is the I am that I am. Whatever you need, he is it. In Jesus' name. May the God of heaven and of peace bless you and keep you and satisfy you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he give you the peace that passes all understanding and knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. And may he saturate your heart. And may that peace rest. May it remain and abide with us all. You all. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. In the name of Jesus. I encourage you to take a moment. Amen. Even after we have gone off the air. And make up in your mind. I'm coming to Jesus. Find. Amen. A water. Find. A preacher of righteousness. And let him or her baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the Holy Ghost if you have already not received it. All you need to do is to believe. He says, he that believeth on me, as the scripture had said in Joel, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. This spake he of the Holy Ghost. God doesn't just want to be around you. God doesn't want to just fight for you. He wants to be in you to have sweet fellowship. Let him in. For he will make all things brand new. God bless you and keep you till such time. And on Wednesday evening, rapture tarries and life affords me the privilege again. We will share from the word of the Lord. Amen. Again, during our Bible study. Call somebody. Share it with somebody. Tell somebody of Jesus. Tell them to come and join the study of the word. They will never be the same for better. The God of heaven bless you. Until then.